think the behaviors are different nowadays, but then so are our policies. And I think we also have to take a look at that right now too, because some of our policies is driving why we're seeing certain behaviors in the classroom. And that's another one we don't want to really talk about. I think through the pandemic, we gave a lot of grace, but I think somewhere the line hasn't been drawn of like, okay, like you need to learn from, you know, there has to be consequences eventually. I think maybe we used to be a little too harsh and then we overcorrected. I remember when I was in school, it was the phone was in the backpack and that was the end of the conversation. But now there's really no set in stone rule for the teachers to enforce to then help the kids have structure to make it so that they can focus in class. That has kind of become a pattern I've noticed with a lot of rules, not just phones, where a lot of the rules feel very unclear. And I think the students know that the rules are unclear and that the teacher's hands are a little bit tied as far as enforcing the rules goes, but we owe it to the kids to give them more structure in the form of rules that are enforced and then followed up by a like clear natural consequence, like nothing crazy, but you're on your phone in class, phone gets taken away. Like natural consequence, very simple. And um, when students misbehave and they get a consequence and the other students see that it's not like an equal consequence to their behavior, then they, the students think, oh, well, if I do it too, then I'll, I'll get away with it as well. Seventh grade, middle of seventh grade, I started getting in trouble for calling people names because I was getting called names and I kind of started stealing from people which in return I got in trouble for. I wanted to move schools because I thought nobody at my current school liked me and I continued getting in trouble until I brought something to school I wasn't supposed to bring which led to me getting suspended and kind of losing all the trust from the people in the office. I was searched for every morning for two months straight. I would go into the dean's office, I would give him my backpack, he would go through my backpack and check my pockets and everything. Um, that, that moment I kind of realized that I had to change what I was doing because it wasn't any good for me or for the people around me. I had consequences which helped me change for the better. I think I would say just, you don't have to fully comprehend what it is, but just understand that I'm going through something and I may need a little bit of slack, but don't give me too much slack because if you just let it go, it's never gonna get done, you're never gonna get better, but enough so that you have space to heal.